Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. This is your buddy Crypto Profit and today we are going to be taking a look at Decentraland or Mana. So this is one of those tokens we've been covering since the beginning of this channel. A lot of people have been liking Decentraland and what it offers um, and there's a lot going on with Decentraland's price right now. Obviously the market as a whole is kind of uh, struggling. We're down about 4.53% so you're going to see a very good time to buy dips and a lot of these coins. Obviously, things like Cardano down quite a bit, Bitcoin down quite a bit, Ethereum down quite a bit. So you're seeing a lot of chances to buy if you have money to invest. Um, you know, you can always do your own research and find out if it's uh, a good time to invest as well. So remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I will never give financial advice. But let's take a look at Decentraland. Uh, the price chart here, we see it at 89 cents and a negative 9.43% in the last 24 hours alone. Uh, in the last week, we see a 16% decrease, and then in the last month, we see that large 226% increase. So, MANA is kind of one of those tricky ones because I think it will have a long-term future, like I told you guys in the past or previous videos. Um, so, it's it's an Ethereum token that powers the Decentraland virtual reality platform. MANA can be used to pay for virtual plots of land in Decentraland as well as in good worlds or in world goods and services. So. There's a lot of potential with Decentraland. However, uh, if we look at the price, obviously we're going to see a huge increase. And anytime you have this huge increase, you're going to see, um, you know, a dip and a correction. So we saw the dip. We actually never got a correction at that 0.83. We got, uh, you know, rose right back up. And then this is where we kind of stabilized around. And it's been a stabilization that is continuing to actually go down the entire time stabilizing. Um, but obviously we went all the way down to 0.86. And now we're back up to that 0.89. So... It's, it's trying to find a spot to stabilize. However, there's a lot of uh, movement going on right now. We have 298.7 million in the volume in the last 24 hours. Uh, the market cap's at that 1.4 billion. The circulating supply at that 1.6 billion mana. Um, but before we actually look a little bit more in detail of this um, you know, price chart, let's take a look at the actual official website and see what it's all about. For those of you who are new to Decentraland, maybe you want to invest, uh, maybe it's something you want to put on your watch list. So basically Decentraland, you can create, explore, and trade in your first ever virtual world owned by its users. Um, and you can continue down and see what more about it. So determine the future of the first virtual world. Um, and that's their whole big deal is, you know, this is the first ever virtual world and you guys kind of control what happens in it. So there's a lot of people interested in that kind of idea. Um, then there's obviously a marketplace as well where you can, you know, sell and buy wearables, which are basically assets in game. And then you can actually buy and sell plots of land as well. And, uh, you know, different kinds of names because obviously the more uh, they call it OG names, the more OG names that you get original names, uh, you know, they're going to be worth more to a lot of people. So you can also go to the events and see how, um, you know, see how uh, the game's still so active. Uh, you know, right now we have five events live and you can always submit new events um, on this website. So you can always put your event out there and then they also have, you know, events in 10 hours, 12 hours, one day. So there's st still a lot of action here on Decentraland. It's not like it's dying down. That has nothing to do with the coin right now. Um, and then you can also see that they had that Atari Game Jam winners. If you click on this, you can see that there's actually prize pools for different uh, events here in Decentraland itself. Um, but let's go back to the price chart and take a look at what we see here. So obviously, Decentraland itself is still doing just fine. There hasn't been any huge announcements or anything just recently. Um, no real information on projects and updates. So that could have something to do with the decrease. There's just uh, there was a lot of FOMO, and now obviously. Um, you know, it's continuing to decrease and correct itself because of that huge increase we had earlier. Uh, but the one thing with the central land is you got to be careful with is right now we are at a low, low price. Um, obviously if you got in at that huge dip at about 82 cents, you're going to be looking good and solid for the next couple weeks. I believe, I think we are going to see, uh, a correction here or a, uh, increase before the correction, but the central is one of those that I see making it right back to a dollar without a problem. By the end of March, we're going to see a stabilization above that dollar amount. Uh, I think we see an all-time high in April, though. I don't think we meet, we can beat that all-time high of Decentralands uh, in March. I think this all-time high right here, this dollar nineteen, we won't see that again uh, until April. April, I think we get to maybe a dollar fifty, two dollars. Um, 
It's very possible. I think Decentraland will continue to rise. I think it's just taking one more announcement like we saw with the Atari Casino. Uh, one more announcement will really do itself in, and uh, we'll see Decentraland really make its way to that $2 mark, I believe. Um, and then maybe I, uh, hopefully we see a correction or a uh, stabilization that doesn't go too far down. Um, and we see it stabilized around that dollar fifty range um, by the end of April. That would be that would be ideal. As uh, Decentraland, I think it's going to be a little bit slower of a process on the way up right now uh, until we get some big news or big projects announced. Um, you know, it's one of those coins that will continue to rise because of the potential behind it and uh, because of what it does. But however, you need some updates. You need some projects. There's a lot of you know a lot of coins for people to invest in right now for you know short term money, short term profit. So you got to keep their attention if you want to keep them in, invested in your coin as well as the game itself. A lot of people, you know, there's a ton of games out there. You got to keep them invested in your game. You got to keep them, um, you know, wanting, you know, new projects and updates and let them know that they're coming. Uh, so there's a lot to it. I think Decentraland, like I said, it will continue to rise in my idea uh, of what Decentraland is. And uh, obviously looking at this price chart, we can see that, you know, this huge increase over a year. I think with this month monthly chart here, we're seeing that it did increase. We saw a dip. We saw a correction. We're seeing a decrease. Uh, it's a good time to buy the dip, in my opinion, for myself. Um, I would never suggest you guys to buy anything. However, looking at this, we're seeing an, about a 9% decrease in the last 24 hours alone. We saw it all the way up at 98 to 99 cents, and now we're seeing it at 89 cents. So buying now would not be too bad of a play. I think it's going to continue to uh, decrease maybe for another hour or two um, or stabilize at the very least. But obviously, we saw it reach its uh, worst points here. Woo! All right, we saw it reach its worst points here at that 82 cent mark. Um, and now we're obviously seeing it increase steadily. We're at the 89 cent mark. And I think it will continue to uh, kind of mess around here, stabilize. And then, uh, like I said, in April, it's going to be increasing pretty substantially. Uh, but my prediction for 2021 for Decentraland is going to be a four to five dollar coin. I think Decentraland will continue to rise. Uh, I think it's one of those coins that will rely, like I said, on a lot of projects and updates. As long as they continue with big news, uh, they will have no troubles reaching five dollars by the end of 2021. Um, that's going to be my price prediction for Decentraland. So let me know in the comments if you guys agree with my price prediction or is it a little low. Uh, do you think it's a good time to buy in Decentraland right now? Do you think, man, is that a good price? Uh, you know, let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I knew I had a lot of people wanting Decentraland updates. So I gave you guys my price prediction and update on where I think Decentraland will continue to go. Um, but like I say, always guys, make sure to leave a like on the video. It really does make, let me know how much you enjoy and appreciate these kind of, you know, videos and content. Uh, and then also subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.